tell the story of the Great Migration upon the Oregon Trail is to tell the story of American endeavor, determination, and community. Perhaps at no other time in our history was the spirit of this young nation better illustrated through vision, courage, and hardship as in the mid to late 19th century by the pioneers and settlers as they headed west from St. Louis toward the Pacific. The main thing that they had that was the biggest problem in their transportation mode was oxen and horses have to be fed and watered every single day. And if you get hundreds and thousands of wagons going over the same trail, pretty soon there's no grass left. So people would have to deviate from the trail and head out maybe as far as 10 to 15 miles, which is a whole day for them. Uh, just to find grass and water, and it was a huge problem. That's mostly why they had scouts, was to find a suitable place for grass and water. Gary Stone is a born and raised resident of the Magic Valley of Southern Idaho, an artist, author, and historian, along with wife Beverly. And their book, Stone by Stone on the Oregon Trail, can make for a great travel companion on your next visit to the Snake River Canyon. Unfortunately, most of the people that came by here, which were thousands and thousands, didn't know this was here and would ride right by it. Sometimes they would hear the rumble of the falls over here and, and there were quite a few diaries written that they thought it was uh, buffalo herd uh, stampeding or the, the roar was something other than a waterfall. They couldn't imagine water being out here in this desolate desert because they had about a 40 mile stretch across here where they couldn't get water unless they had prepared for it. So it was one of the worst crossings of the whole Oregon Trail was right through our area. Of course, the history of the white settlers in the area is only a brief one, and as Stone explains, even the Native Americans recognize those who walked these lands far before their own ancestors did. Bev and I uh, did our Oregon Trail book uh, in 1993, and we contacted the Indians from Duck Valley and Fort Hall and become friends with them. But in doing so, they wanted to come see the canyon. That was their ancestral lands. The first thing they did when we were standing right where we are now, looked down and they said, this is the land of the ancient ones. And I said, what do you mean by that? And they said, the people that were here before Indians, the ancient ones. So, wow. More Magic Valley stops along the trail include Glens Ferry, Rock Creek, Stricker Ranch, Malad Gorge, and the City of Rocks. Idaho is just really a neat, neat place. It's uh, an unpolished diamond is the way I like to put it. It's just barely getting the edges polished on it right now. <laughs> Check out Southern Idaho's accommodations and things to see and do on our social network at southernidahotravel.com and visit all of Idaho at visitidaho.org. Adventures in Living.